But I'm going to tell you, after he beat Takeshita on this night, and after the last two nights where I've been talking about the G1 blob, why not Goto? And what I mean by that is why not push Goto right now? I know everybody's on the Zack Sabre Jr. train, and I don't have a problem with that. He's another guy who, you know, was a fixture of that previous era and is still closer to his prime and uh, has never had that big push. I, I get all the reasons for Zack Sabre Jr., and I'm not against it. But why not Goto? Think of it this way. For everything I just talked about, he still knows how to step up in the big match. He's a worker's worker. This guy's great. Knows how to perform in his role. Can still go at a super high level. Has the credibility of a guy who's held every title there is to hold except the big one. And I'll get to that in a second. Has won every tournament there is to win. We've talked about that on previous audios. In K Fabe is this great tournament wrestler. Right? Everybody respects Hiroki Goto. Fans, wrestlers, everyone. Why not Goto? Why not push Goto? No one sees it coming. Why can't he win this thing? And I'll go a step further. For a guy that's lost, what is it, eight or nine IWGP titles, challenges in his career, it's kind of become, you know, what he's known for. Why not put the title on him? And hear me out. Not as a gold watch. Not as some career achievement. Not as some Manabu Nakanishi deal. No. He's a perfect champion right now. You know why? Because Goto can beat Tetsuya Naito for that title. And you can build to that. And you can draw a little money. On Hiroki Goto's one last chance. One last run. I'm giving it one last go. We all know I've lost a ton of these. Somehow I won the G1. This is going to be my last title shot. No one's going to believe in him. But you'll get into the idea. That maybe a miracle can happen. And he's the perfect guy to beat Tetsuya Naito. You know why? Because you can get the title off of Naito and then you can have one of these young guys take it off of Goto and you can save the Naito match against one of these younger wrestlers. Goto is in the perfect position to be the guy to do that with. It's perfect on so many levels. You squeeze every last bit of juice out of Goto and make a little money with him. Believe me, you don't have them hanging from the rafters these days to begin with. You can think outside the box and try something like this. Okay? He can get the big emotional win that he's been chasing his entire career. And it's not a gold watch. It's functional. It serves a purpose. It means Naito doesn't have to drop directly to one of these guys that he hasn't had a big match or program with. And with the state of Naito's body, he's running out of time for that anyway. So you have him lose to a contemporary. You tell a great story. Goto finally gets to the top. And he beats an incredible world champion and one of the biggest stars in the history of the company to do it. And you don't have to have one of these younger guys take it off Naito directly. They could take it off of Goto. And you're not burning a Naito match against one of these guys. First time ever. So why not Goto? Why can't the G in G1 be for Goto? And maybe I'm working myself into a shoot. Maybe I'm getting all fired up for nothing. And he's going to finish 3-6 and like he always does. But I believe in Goto. Fuck it. Have him win the whole thing. I'm dead serious. This is not me reaching for something to talk about on a piece of audio. I'm watching this match. And I'm watching the way that this guy wrestles. And how he gets it. And how he can still go. And I'm thinking, there's money in this. (laughs) 
Why not Goto? Who else? Y'all fired up for David Finley? Are y'all fired up for evil? Where else you turning? You think they're giving a, a Tokyo Dome main event to Yuya Uomura? Shota Umino? Why not Goto? 